What's going on everybody? So I don't know if you saw last night's video or yesterday's video. If you didn't, go check it out. Um, I'll link it at the end here. But we did a exhaust muffler delete on a 2007, I think it is, Subaru WRX. And I want to do something a little bit different today. I don't know if you guys have ever wondered this, but what is inside of these aftermarket exhaust systems that make them so expensive. Now this one in particular is a Tanabe. Um, for the Subaru, the capback system is about 700 bucks, I think, somewhere around there. So it's pretty expensive. I mean, you could do a complete custom straight pipe setup for that with V-bands. And uh, so why would you spend that much money on something like this? So what we're gonna do today is, if you're curious, we're gonna slice this thing open and see what it's made of. Hopefully there's something decent inside there that can justify the cost of this stuff because to be quite honest with you, even though this is a Tanabe and it's a really good brand actually, the stainless steel that it's made out of was very, very difficult to weld and was very susceptible to heat. So it didn't seem to be a very good quality of stainless. Um, these are supposedly made in Japan and the Japanese usually have much better metal than the Chinese, but I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to cut it apart with the handy plasma cutter because that's always fun and hopefully there'll be something halfway decent inside and maybe i can even explain a little bit about how a muffler works to those of you that may be new to cars and and don't actually have any clue what's inside a muffler so here we go i'm gonna get geared up and we'll uh we'll tear into this thing All right, so we are basically going to cut it right along here, right along this way, right along here, right along here. We'll cut a nice big chunk out of it so we can hopefully see the internals without doing too much damage. So let's get to it. So judging by that smoke, there's obviously some sort of sound deadening inside, which is promising. Oh yeah. Alright, so now that we've generated a small nuclear hazard, you can see that this material here, this is actually a really good muffler. You've got fiberglass, sound absorbing material, looks like four different chambers of it, and some actual fiberglass batting up against the side of it to stop resonation. So let's get this off. And you can see the strands of fiberglass in there. Wow. Yeah, these are actually pretty nice. A lot of times the cheaper muffles, mufflers, muffles, funny. A lot of the cheaper mufflers will only have metal baffles in them with absolutely no sound deadening material whatsoever. 
and those will give you a real shitty raspy sound something that you're not going to enjoy very much all right so there's a nice chunk of it that obviously is the side where the exhaust hits This is going to get super messy. <laughs> Looks like hair. If you've ever seen a car going down the road and there's stuff hanging out the exhaust pipe, sometimes this stuff will actually blow through the baffles. Wow, there's a lot of it in there. So I'm not going to go too much further with uh, pulling that out of there because you guys kind of get the idea. And I don't want to make too big of a mess here. But if you can see, what they've done is basically when you look through here, it's a straight through muffler. You can see straight through to the other side when that stuff's not in the way. And then when you come up here, you can see this particular baffle. Now it looks like this is a double baffle, which makes this an even nicer piece. So it's got a pipe that runs about halfway down and then it's in an open baffle in here which a lot of the exhaust gases will escape through this and into this material which is fiberglass. Long strand, obviously you can see long strand fiberglass. Now the sound will enter that fiberglass, will get deadened somewhat before it comes out the exhaust. So believe it or not, this is actually a really nice piece. I've seen much, much worse. So yeah, so basically that's it. I mean, there's not really much more to it. That is, uh, that is a good muffler. A good muffler is going to have some sort of packing material in it to deaden the sound inside the can. So this stops all the rattles from the can. This stops all of everything. And you get a nice, deep, clean tone out of your muffler versus something, um, you know, that you can buy like at Advance Auto, like a Thrush muffler or something like that. Those are going to have a tendency just to have some goofy metal, metal baffles in them, and they sound terrible. Especially with a four-cylinder, they get super raspy, they get super nasty. So invest your money wisely. Obviously, Tanabi makes a good product. Their stainless might be a little funky, but their muffler and their overall build quality is very, very nice. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to, uh, to ask in the comments. Leave a comment below. Hit my Instagram, ask me a question there. Probably going to do a video like this every now and then where we tear something apart, kind of like a what's inside video. Um, let me know if you guys like that because I got tons of stuff we can yank apart and there's tons of things to, uh, to learn if you're not too sure about what goes on. So let me know in the comments. As always, like, subscribe. Thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate every one of you guys and I will see you tomorrow.